Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge and my website is www.jackiepartridge.com. If you would like exclusive painting tutorial content for acrylic painting, you can sign up and join my mailing list at www.jackiepartridge.com slash shop where I will send you exclusive video tutorials that haven't been posted or available on my other social media platforms. So today I'm going to be talking about some tips for painting clouds which can be really challenging and really difficult as a beginner acrylic painter. Alright so today I'm going to be talking about some tips for how to create clouds. We're not creating this painting that I did specifically. This is just going to be a quick and easy tutorial uh, just to give you some tips to get started uh, but of course practice really makes better. Uh, so for the sky it's kind of hard when you look out at the sky um, during the day but pictures really help to explain this but in your painting it's going to go from a darker blue to a lighter blue. I'm using cobalt titanium white and a little bit of Mars black to mix my paint. Um, so it's really important to kind of build your layers. So this is the first layer that I did with blending, but now I'm going to add a second layer just to really build up our colors. So I'm using a one inch flat brush and I'm adding my cobalt uh, blue and then I'm going to be adding a little bit of my Mars black make, to make a darker blue. And so as we're blending, we're starting with our, our darker blue, so mixing our Mars black with our cobalt, and then we're adding straight cobalt blue over top. Um, and we're not going to clean our brush, we're just going to keep our brush nice and dirty. Remember to paint the sides of your canvas as well. So then just pull off some cobalt blue straight from the tube and just kind of layer it over top of what you've already painted. So this kind of blending is dry brushing and I'm just kind of feathering it over what I've already painted. So our next area is going to be cobalt blue mixed with titanium white. So I already have some on my palette over here, so I'm just going to pull off some cobalt blue. And mix some titanium white. And again, paint a little bit over what you just painted before. Just to kind of blend it together. Again, paint the edges of your canvas as well. You can also add water to your brush uh, to create kind of a wet blend. So now I'm going to add even more white to this blue that I originally made. And again, kind of paint over what you already painted before just to help blend it together. If you like dry brushing, you can do that. If you want to add a bit of water, you can do that as well. Just don't add too much water. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more white for the bottom portion. And again, paint over a little bit of what you just painted before so that it all blends in nicely. And you can always pick up your canvas to paint the bottom edge as well. All 
All right, so now we have our sky painted. It's going from dark to light at the bottom. So we're ready to add our clouds. With your clouds, you want to have areas of highlights where it's going to be just pure titanium white. This is the lightest part of the cloud. You're also going to have areas of shadow where you're mixing your Mars black and your titanium white to have a gray. And you're going to be mixing some of your cobalt blue with white and some of your cobalt blue with the gray or with the black and the white just to add some variety of tones. We don't just want a white fluffy cloud, we want dimension. So we need to add different bits of blue and gray and black. So we're going to keep our highlights towards the edges of the clouds and during for the, around the tops of the clouds and keep the shadows more towards the bottom of the clouds um, and some in the middle as well. We're also going to have areas that are really light and transparent and fluffy and that's going to add different dimension um, to the clouds kind of having some areas that are more transparent and more opaque than other areas. So to do this, I'm going to be using a round brush, kind of a medium bristle. I'm not going to use a detail brush. I'm not going to worry about little small details. And I'm also going to use a sponge or you can use a paper towel and this is just going to get some of the more transparent kind of feathery look to the clouds. So I think with clouds it's good to look at a picture if you can um, take some pictures on cloudy days just to work from reference. But you want to make sure that you're painting, you shouldn't just have a cloud in the middle, kind of have some maybe off the sides, wrapping around the edges, just to make it look more interesting. So you're going to start just by taking some solid white to just kind of map out different shapes for yourself. And this is just going to help yourself know where the highlights are for your clouds. And again, this is just kind of like a practice painting, so don't worry about it being perfect, just practice. And I'm kind of doing these little quick dabs so that it's not super perfect, it's not like a smooth line. They're kind of lines that are stopping and starting with each other. So pull off some white on your palette and you can grab a little bit of black as well and then you can add go in and add some of your shadows where they're going to be the trick is to move really quick and let some of that blue shine through the clouds they shouldn't be super thick just kind of have a dry brush i don't have a ton of paint on my brush i'm just kind of moving quickly and rubbing it quickly and we just want to add a variety of tones so now I'm adding some more white to my gray and even some more white and you can always dab off um, some of the white on your brush like if I put too much white on I can just dab it off with a sponge and that'll make it look less heavy and more realistic. So sponge is a really great tool. You could also use your rag or a paper towel or something. Again, carry some clouds over the side just to help it make it look more interesting. And you're just going to build up layers but making sure that you still can see some of the sky through the cloud is really important because this makes it look more fluffy and less like a kind of fake cartoon cloud. So I'm just kind of like swirling and dabbing my brush and keep kind of some edges 
that have more of a solid white as a highlight. Kind of the quicker that you move, I think the more freeing it becomes and the more abstract it's going to look, but still realistic at the time because clouds aren't perfect. No cloud is going to look the same, so you don't really need to give yourself pressure to make it look perfect. And again, it really helps to look at a picture if you have it. And then just keep rubbing some parts. You can add a little bit of water to your sponge as well. And see what that does. You can kind of rub some areas away. You could also mix in a little bit of yellow too um, for like the sun shining through and that'll just help kind of add a little bit of dimension to your clouds as well. So the last paint that I have on my brush, I can kind of do these little wispy bits that are kind of softer. Maybe the clouds are further in the distance, things like that. So just move quickly, don't worry too much about anything. Just make sure you have your highlights and some shadows is the most important thing. And swirl your brush around as well. Let's try creating different textures that you're happy with. Make sure you have some areas of solid white, different areas of gray, and just create that sense of variety. Maybe you have some larger clouds and some smaller clouds. All of your clouds should be different shapes and sizes to them. Some can be a little bit darker. So once you're kind of happy with how your clouds look, you can look at your painting from a distance and just make some of those highlights stand out a little bit more, add a bit of extra white to your brush, just so that you have some more areas a really true white. We can exaggerate some of the darker bits as well.
again, if you're ever not happy with it, you can take your sponge or rag and just kind of dab it and dry it off. You can also always paint over something, so don't worry too much. Just have fun with it. All right, I think this looks really good. It's always good to kind of hold your painting from a distance. You can kind of see how it looks like um, from the distance or how it would look hanging on the wall, but I'm really happy with it. I think it's a good kind of test. I have some highlights, I have some darker tones, I have lots of variety, I have shorter brush strokes, longer brush strokes, I have some kind of transparent thinner clouds in the background with dry brushing. We use the sponge a bit to kind of dab off some of the extra paint and all in all it looks like a great painting of clouds. So I hope you enjoyed this video to give you some tips on painting something challenging and difficult like clouds. Thanks for watching.